Our 7x23 all aluminum all sport trailer weighs in at just under 2,000 pounds, which makes it ultra light and easily half ton towable. Now, shown here in a stealthy black color, it's a fan favorite here at Complete Trailers. It's traditionally used to haul two or three sleds depending on the length and size of your sled. So, if you're hauling mountain sleds, what, uh, what most people do is they'll drive in through this front ramp door and drive toward the rear, kick them over, load them that way. So the framing structure is an all tube frame, 16 on center cross members, floor, roof, and walls. The main tube section here, this beefy piece right here that you see, actually runs 10 feet back into the trailer, catching several cross members along the way, strengthening the frame. You've got a manual tongue jack here, safety chains, two and five sixteenths coupler, breakaway battery kit, and the seven way plug for your lights. Now the front ramp door is, this whole V nose here is measured five foot. So you've got an 18 foot rectangle, five foot of Venos available in longer or shorter lengths, depending on what your need is. You drop this ramp door down. And by the way, we can put this ramp door on either side of the Venos. So just gonna grab our spring assist ramp and drop it down. You can see there is also a loading light just above the ramp as well. So running down the side the trailer, we've got a couple of flow through vents. There's one here and one on the other side down low forces air through the cabin of the trailer when you're driving down the freeway and flushes out any fuel uh, gas fumes that you might have inside the trailer. Speaking of gas fumes, so there are a couple fuel doors here on the exterior as well. So you can actually fuel up your machines from the outside by using these handy little doors. There are LED clearance lights that wrap around the outside. You've got aluminum wheels on torsion axles. Standard gives your machines a smoother ride going down the road. And you can see we've got a slider window here as well. There's a little screen there. You slide it open, gives you some ventilation in the inside. Running down the passenger side, so you can see we've got no screws in the exterior of the trailer. Gives the trailer a really clean, sleek look, especially in this matte or flat black. You'll see that we've got some chrome corners here as well as the front wedge nose. And here's our RV side door as well. It's a nice solid RV door with an RV latch here. The two keys keyed the same. Nice solid shutting door. And of course our lighted grab handle here as well. So when you're hooked up to your vehicle at night, this provides a nice soft glow. It's just a little deep tail piece in my opinion, but it's super cool. So at the rear ramp door, you can see our LED turn signals and clearance lights as well. As well as on this particular trailer, we have another loading light. And that comes in super handy if you're loading and unloading at night. You drop down your spring assist ramp again. It's super light, you can see. No effort needed there. And there you've got your ramp. So on the inside of the trailer, we have a six foot interior height. The rear door opening height is a little bit lower. So if you've got a side-by-side uh, -side, like a Can-Am or a Razor Ranger, we can actually add additional height to the trailer uh, so you can load and unload your machines. So you've got white vinyl walls, white vinyl ceiling on the inside, Advantech flooring and a nice Advantech kick plate that actually comes up the wall, protects your walls from being scraped and scuffed from sleds or uh, tire marks or what have you. Now the Advantech is a resin-based floor material it's a, it starts out at about eight inches thick. They pump a bunch of resin into it, squash it down to three quarter inches thick. And what you end up is a very durable uh, material that is one of the only two, one of two uh, materials that I would actually recommend when you're putting sewn bells inside of a trailer. So this material here is one of the only ones out there that doesn't get just absolutely destroyed by carbides. Any other material you, you would normally have to run some runners on the inside just to protect the floor. So inside the trailer you can see we have our manual roof vent and you'll, you'll notice the two windows that we talked about on the exterior of the trailer. So it gives you some nice natural light on the inside as well as some ventilation as well. You can uh, also take a look at the inside of those fuel doors that are on the driver's side of the trailer. Obviously our front ramp door here on the driver's side, we can move that to the curb side or passenger side if you prefer. And here is our entrance door with the RV door latch. So on a day like today where it's raining outside, you can actually close the door from the inside, comes in real handy. You've got a light switch here, and there are two dome lights mounted up on the wall. And of course our aluminum, all aluminum cabinet. So it's a nice overhead cabinet, closet, or closed rod underneath the uh, cabinet here, and a top hinge gives you ample space to throw some helmets in. 